Hello. Hi. Thanks for checking in. My name is Dorothy Rosen. I'm a goldsmith in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And today um, I wanted to talk about uh, where diamonds come from, sourcing of diamonds and um, responsibility of like purchasing power, using our purchasing power um, appropriately. I'm in the business of um, making jewelry because I love bringing people joy. I had uh, a couple of people ping- picking up their custom orders this week and um, just the joy in their whole being when they pick up that, that piece I made for them. In this case, actually, I was reusing their diamonds. Um, that joy is, you know, what makes me go- come to work every day. And I, and I just really love that. So I want to have uh, a positive impact with what I do. And that doesn't only go in the direction of the uh, customer. It also goes the other way, uh, looking at my suppliers and sources of my sources, sources of my materials. So um, there is a dark side to material sourcing. I've talked about this before in terms of gold. And today I'm going to talk about it in terms of diamonds. Because of the war in Ukraine, war on Ukraine, um, I uh, Russia is really in the news a lot these days, and uh, it's kind of uh, you know it's being looked at under a uh, loop, so to speak. And uh, Russia happens to be by volume the largest diamond supplier in the world. And where there is a problem with that is that uh, a third of um, this lar- very large uh, Russian diamond uh, company called Alrosa is state-owned, which means that it goes directly to the funding of uh, military infrastructure. Uh, for example, in 2004, Al- um, there was a um, nuclear uh, submarine named Alrosa, which later was involved with the um, invasion of Crimea. So this is pretty direct... Um, influences that are supported with the purchase of diamonds. So ideally, we don't get involved and a lot of people are noticing this. And as such, President Biden, US President Biden, uh, put a ban on uh, import of Russian diamonds. Large uh, jewelry manufacturers such as Tiffany and, and a whole bunch of other ones have made statements that they will no longer purchase Russian sourced diamonds, and so on and so forth. Um, It's important to say, I think, that I felt that Russia is not the only place where problem diamonds are coming from. For decades, uh, some countries in Africa have been um, a real problem, Zimbabwe, Congo, um, many places, and there are some really amazing organizations working on trying to make this better. But I just want to make sure it's not just Russia that's the the problem with diamond sourcing. Uh, And there is now, there are arguments now within the jewelry community. Luckily, we are talking about it. So this is really great. People are talking about it within the industry and also I'm talking to you about it. I think that's really important. Um, But there's like strife now, even the Responsible Jewelry Council, uh, which is an organization that is, was founded to, you know, be for responsible jewelry practices. Even within that organization, the um, executive director uh, just resigned, Iris van der Vecken, I think is her name. Uh, because Alrosa, for example, wasn't kicked out. There was lots of argument. But anyways, I don't want to get too detailed, but it is an important topic. I'm really glad we're talking about it. And I just wanted to explain briefly why it is so difficult to talk about this, uh, to easily understand it. When diamonds are mined, they're sold in big parcels, and they're sold as rough. And then in the polishing centers, polishing cutting centers, they are sorted not by country of origin, but how good the diamonds are for potentially cut diamonds. And so 
uh, we're losing the, tr the tracing. We don't know where they're going. And oftentimes they, they switch countries uh, for, the, for the polishing. And then, of course, once they're cut and polished, they are then sorted by the four C's, you know, cut, color, all that stuff. I talk about that in another live. You can look for that if you like. That was a year ago, actually. Um, and so, you know, most diamonds are not traced by their origin, except for Canadian diamonds. Canadian diamonds are, in terms of trace, traceability uh, to the source, to the mine, Canadian diamonds are by far the best, which is why I only work with Canadian diamonds or lab-grown diamonds. Um, having said that, you also want to be careful who is, who is tracing them. So going with a reputable uh, um, diamond supplier is really important. And uh, when you do, uh, when you do, when I get as a, as a jeweler, uh, these, these kinds of diamonds, they come with a certificate. Uh, their packaging is always beautiful because it's a, um, it's a traced, it's a better, uh, better traced uh, product. Uh, this will uh, certify the um, Canadian origin of that, the, where that diamond was mined. And so that's really important, or it comes in a package like this, you know, like this is all fancy stuff. So um, it will also come with a, should come with a certificate such as this from the GIA, and that will tell you all about the quality of the diamond. And these are good certificates, but I won't talk about the source. The source you get from the Canadian Diamond Certificate. So I wanted to explain that. and. Uh, tell you that in that case you're not you don't have to worry about supporting regimes you don't want to support um, and then uh, you know I can make things like I thought I'd show you a couple this is a Canadian diamond this is a, a bigger one in this little guy oh, it's too bad it's not focusing oh well uh, all the diamonds and this is a white gold one these are my three loops so you know you can feel good about this. If you already have a diamond that needs to come out of uh, a piece that you no longer wear, uh, I consider that also responsibly sourced because um, that damage, well, it sounds weird, but there's no further damage done by taking that diamond and putting it into an, uh, onto uh, another uh, piece. Yeah. I'll leave it with that. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm glad this conversation is being had. And uh, I'm still navigating, we're all still navigating the truth about all these things. I'm just glad I'm working with Canadian Diamonds. Whew, I did that. I made that decision over a decade ago, and that was a good one. All right, I wish you a wonderful Sunday, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.